Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. Today is November 30th, so I will be posting my monthly empties for November. Last month was kind of rough. I think I only had nine. In the end, I think I had 10 empties. I forgot about one, but it was my worst month of the year. So I had to redeem myself a little bit this month. Um, I am back in the double digits, but there aren't a ton of makeup empties. First, I wanna get a couple of non-empty empties out of the way. Let me explain. I had this bottle of Jergens Naturally Smooth Shave Minimizing Moisturizer in my stash for years. And I used a ton of it, but at some point the pump stopped pumping and I didn't really know what to do about it. And so I just put it to the side and ignored it for a decade because it seemed like the smart thing to do. So in last month's empties, you guys saw, I had finished my Origins Ginger Souffle Whipped Body Cream. I said that as happy as I was to have this off my bathroom counter, I might actually keep it around to use the container for something else, and that's what I did. So I have completely depotted the remaining product of this into this, and this is what's left still quite a bit. It looks kind of yucky, but it smells really nice and it still works good. I used some of it as I was depotting it and getting the last bit out of here that I couldn't shake out. But I'm not counting this as an empty, but I'm also not gonna keep this around for the next year until I finish this. This is going in the recycling bin and this is gonna be the new container for this. So I don't know why I felt like I had to share that with you guys, but I did. Also, I counted my red EOS lip balm as an empty several months ago, but I had actually depotted the remainder into this little lush sample container, and that is also finally gone. So this doesn't count towards my empties for this month, but I am so, 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 so happy to have that balm finished and to have my container back because I already have plans for it, as you will see, because my Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation is no longer squeezing out. This is in my A to Z project pan. I have a goal to have this gone by my update next month, like in eight days or something. And I don't know if there's any product left in here or not, but I have my little empty Lush container now. I have this and I have a pair of scissors <laughs> and my little spatula that I'm not crazy about, but it works. And so I figured we could cut it open right now and see what is actually left in this container or if it's actually empty and I could count it towards an empty today. Okay, so a trick I learned from an old Amber F video is to shake your products out before you cut them open to get every last bit of product. Or if you're the kind of person who does not wanna cut open all your packaging and scrape it all out, to make sure you get your money's worth and every last bit of product out that you can, you make sure the bottle is filled up with as much air as you can fill it up with. You don't want it to be like squeezed out and flat. And then you grab the end and you shake the heck out of it like this. And that will bring as much product down. Well, I've been doing that for a couple of weeks already. And now even by doing that, I cannot get any more product to squeeze out. So let's cut this bad boy open and see what's inside. My Lush container is right here. It's cleared out. So I'm just going to take my scissors and cut the packaging open around the halfway mark. Ah, oh, there is so much product left in here. This is not an empty for this month, you guys. That's what it looks like inside. This is a very thick, moussey formula. So, unfortunately, this will not be counted as an empty, but I am going to scrape with a product I can get out of here into my little lush container so that I can at least access it more easily for the remainder of the time I'm using it. Should have just chucked it in my empties and called it done. <sighs> I think I have as much out of the product as I can get. I'm really scraping the sides, but 
look at how much I was able to pull out. I have just about like a third of this container full, which is probably two months worth of product. Unbelievable. So here are the empty parts of the bottle now. You can see I scraped out everything I could, but look at how much product came out of there. That's a ton, a ton. So I guess I'll be using this a bit longer. That's okay. That's okay. Okay, now that that business is done and over with, let's get on to the empties. I'm really excited to be moving these products out of the house, out of my stash, out of my inventory, all of that stuff. By the way, if anybody's wondering what I have on my lips, I'm trying another lip product for the first time. I've had it for a while. This is Swank from the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Collection. It's a it's very equivalent to the um, ColourPop Satin Liquid Lipsticks. Is that what they're called? They have a comfortable feel. They are not transfer proof. They don't completely dry down, but they also don't leave your lips crusty and disgusting. I've never tried this shade before, but I've tried this line many times and I do enjoy it. This is a bold lip for me, but I'm trying to push myself out of my comfort zone. So Swank from Bare Minerals. The shade has a lot more brown to it than Berry, but it actually matches my pants that I'm wearing really well. Not that you can see. Okay, I have three perfume empties. Let's get into it. I finally finished my sample of Kat Von D Sinner. This I received for free from Influencer for review purposes, and I put it in my Finish 13 by Halloween project. I ended up finishing it two days after the finale to that project. Couldn't have it done two days earlier. Nope, nope, nope. But I enjoyed this. It is not Holy Grail. It is not my signature scent. So I'm glad to have it done and moved out. I also finished two samples from my Grey's Anatomy Project Pan project. This one is Alien. I like this one a lot, not my signature scent. This one is Daisy. Uh, it was okay, not my signature scent. Three more perfumes out of the house. Even if they're just samples, I'm good with it. I finished a deodorant. I'm not a hoarder of deodorants, but I have been kind of trying different deodorants over the last couple years. I've been trying to go natural, aluminum free. It is not really working for me. I haven't found one brand that I can stick to, but as I go through them, I kind of see how long they last and how effective they are and whether or not I'm gonna rebuy them or not. This one in particular is from the Homewood Kitchen Gardens. It's in the scent Lemon Spice. And it's a local businesswoman who makes these out of her kitchen and sells them at our local farmer's market. I found this to be the strangest deodorant I've ever used in my life, but not bad. It has all the ingredients typed out on the back, which is really nice. Like you can see exactly what this woman puts into this. And the first ingredient is shea butter. The interesting thing about using shea butter as a deodorant is that as it touches your skin, it begins to melt and it gets a little slimy. And so you wanna be careful not to roll up too much product before you apply it because it'll make a mess. If you can see, you probably can't. Oh, okay, see how like all of this like gunk is on the sides? That's because as I was applying it, it like melted and got everywhere. So it was kind of a messy, messy product when I applied it, but once it was on, it was on. It did a good job staying on. It has a very nice, like natural herbal scent to it. That lemon spice is nice. That rhymes. But I can only wear this like all the other natural deodorants I try for like five days before. It loses its effectiveness and it's not working anymore. So then I have to go back to the aluminum deodorant for a few days before I can go back to this. And that's the problem I keep having with every natural deodorant that I try, that after about five days, it is completely ineffective. So. I may rebuy this this summer when our local farmer's market is back up and running, or I might keep looking for 
a deodorant that works longer than five days so that I can completely eliminate a deodorant with aluminum from my routine altogether. That's the dream. Okay, for body care, I finally finished the body wash that was in my Burstone Beauties project pan. I will have this in my update coming soon. This is an old Mary Kay body wash. I'm sure Mary Kay still sells body washes, but I'm sure this one is not in their rotation. This is so old. I've had it for years and years and years, and I'm really glad to have it gone. So one more body wash out. I also finished a hair care product that I am ecstatic to have out of my bathroom. It is the Redken Sea Salt Spray. It's like a medium hold hairspray. It's not a sea salt spray, it's a hairspray. And I don't really use hairsprays, so it was annoying. I received this in a Beautycon box, the Candy Johnson one, and I was so disappointed with it from the start, but I was committed to using it up, and I'm so glad to not look at it anymore. I cannot wait to, to photograph my empties for November and recycle this bottle, because I don't want to see it ever again. I have a couple of empties for my nails. I finally emptied out a bottle of Top Coat. This is a Sally Hansen Instant Strength Top Coat. I think they still sell this, but this bottle has been in my home for two decades at least. I mean, I've had this forever and I'm so glad to have this gone. I finally used the last of it up and mixed. Whatever wouldn't apply on my nails, I dumped into another bottle. You guys know I do that all the time. But yes, I am so happy to have this empty and gone. And I finished a nail polish thinner. A nail polish thinner is vital for me and my nail polish. Use up the way I wear nail polish, the way I save every last drop. I need a nail polish thinner in my life. So I have another one already repurchased, but it's good to have this one gone because I've had it for a long time. I buy them at Sally Beauty Supply, which is the local beauty supply store. And this bottle will last you years and years and years. You just need 10 drops to thin out a bottle of nail polish that's getting gloopy. Or if you're going to dump out the contents of one bottle to mix it with another to completely empty out a nail polish, you'll need more like, I don't know, 20 or 30 drops. I don't see myself ever not having a nail polish thinner in my life. I also finished a little sample of this Neutrogena Norwegian Formula Hand Cream. It's very tiny. I probably had a week's use out of it. This is one of those very, very, very thick petroleum jelly type formulas that you would only probably wear at nighttime, but it's very effective. I liked it a lot. And you know, this is a drugstore brand. I'm assuming that's still for sale. I've had this sample for a while, but I'm assuming they still sell this. But yeah, if you need something like to treat your hands at night, this is a good one not needed for daytime at all. I have a few more sample of these, but I'm glad to have this one gone. I received this Olay Whips moisturizer for free from Olay. They sent it out to me and it was really good. I did like it. I only got like two uses out of it, so I couldn't really form any strong opinions about it, but I love anything whipped, whether it's yogurt or cream cheese or my nighttime moisturizer. And I thought it did a good job and it didn't break me out. So. My interest has been piqued, Olay. Thank you for the sample. I also finished this very, very old sample of a moisturizer from La Roche-Posay. I've had it forever and I just finally used it up. Glad to have it gone. I also finished another moisturizer. This is a deluxe sample from the Estee Edit. It is the Pink Peony Overnight Water Pack. It's a shame that this product isn't around. The Estee Edit brand folded. It's a offshoot of Estee Lauder, but it's not around anymore. And every time I talk about this product, a couple people are like, oh man, I love that product. I wish I could still get it. So I know it's liked by a lot of you, but this was in my Finish 12 by Christmas project. So I'm really glad to have this out. Finally, I finished, finished. I decided to call it quits on this mascara. This is my only makeup empty for the month, which is kind of unfortunate, but basically I love this mascara. I love it for my lower lashes. I also kind of top it on my 
upper lashes after I use a different mascara and just kind of use this to fan out my lashes. The brush on this mascara does a really good job of separating and fanning out my lashes when whatever other mascara I used on my top lashes gets them a little clumpy. But it really wasn't even able to put any mascara on my lower lashes. And I've been using it for like a year. This is the water resistant uh, CoverGirl Clump Crusher. And I cannot wait to rebuy this again. I have a million mascaras and I'd like to at least try out all the waterproof ones to see if I can use them first before I rebuy this. But man, I miss this. This is a great mascara for my lower lashes. It doesn't transfer. It doesn't give me raccoon eyes. I absolutely love it and I cannot wait to use this again. That is it. These are my empties for the month of November. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.